Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. Let me take you back. I want to tell you a story about Grandma Ida Bell Swisher. Uh, that would be uh, my mom's mom. Growing up, Grandma Ida Bell, uh, and my mom really had some rough times. Uh, uh, she treated my mom really bad, uh, so to speak. And her and my mom were in fights in more ways than one uh, many a times uh, because of me. Uh, my mom and dad divorced in 19, uh, around uh, late 79 into uh, early 1980. Uh, mom and I had moved from Mineral City, Ohio to Maslin, Ohio, which is where uh, my mom grew up uh, and where uh, uh, my grandma Idabel and uh, my papa Lowell and basically everybody had lived. Uh, of course, my aunt Bodie, she had lived uh, other places and uh, and later lived, of course, the way she lives now in Alliance with uh, Uncle Greg. But anyway, everybody basically was around the Maslin area. Uh, Grandma, when I was young, uh, I'd say I, the story, I guess, is when I was like a year old, two year, or uh, close to six months, a year old or something. There's right here, uh, I got a scar where uh, I, I guess I had uh, had a mosquito on me and Grandma had... Uh, was outside on the swing or whatever. I had a mosquito on me, and Grandma had uh, tried to get the mosquito off, and I moved the wrong way, and she burnt me with her cigarette. Uh, so I got a little scar there, right there by uh, uh, close to uh, uh, my pointer there, my index finger, uh, right down by my thumb area. But uh, Grandma Idabel, uh, Sean, my cousin Sean, had lived there with uh, her and uh, Papa Lowell, and of course my aunt uh, Patricia, my aunt Patty, had lived there as well. I don't know if Grandma, it was because Sean had lived there with them or what, but Grandma had really, you know, she'd really treat me, I mean, I don't know, she, her mom would get into fights, and sometimes the fights would be very brutal, uh, I mean, not brutal, but very uh, 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 graphic and so forth, because, you know, Grandma would, uh, and Mom would kind of, Grandma would throw punches at her and whatnot, and it was really, really uh, horrible, uh, so to speak, and, uh, you know, Grandma Idabel, she, you know, she, I, I know she loved me. I, I know she really loved me, and, you know, and it was just, I don't know, you know, maybe, like I said, maybe it was because Sean lived with her uh, there in the house, but I can remember Grandma Idabel just, I don't know, she just, she just treated me a little bit differently. But going back and looking at it on it now, when Grandma Idabel had passed away on December 18th of 1985 due to bone cancer, uh, Grandma Idabel had told me uh, just uh, during, previously in her uh, during that uh, time of her illness and whatnot, she had told me she had told me she says, "Raj, she goes, yeah, I just want to tell you that I love you." She goes, you're my first grandson. She goes, I know that uh, things have not worked for you and I, but she goes, I've always loved you. She goes, I just want to let you know that. She goes, you're my first grandson. She goes, and I love you. She goes, I just want to let you know that. Like I said, her and my mom, they had fist fights in more ways than one. And looking back on it now, you get the idea, you know, that she really... She really did what she had to do, you know. And Grandma Whiteball loved yard, uh, yard sales, and I can remember most of the time she would <laughs> she would go to yard sales and pick up stuff. And Papa Lowell would always tell her, "Now hide." He said, "You don't need all that damn junk." He's like, "You got enough junk as it is. Why get more junk?" And Grandma Whiteball would always be like, "You know what?" She goes, "I saw it and I wanted it, so I got it." <laughs> and he told her, he says. Uh, he says, well, he goes, more junk leads to more uh, more shit all over your room. He's like, I don't know about you and these damn yard sales. He goes, but all you're doing is buying other people's junk. And uh, it was just, in more ways than what, it was just uh, funny to watch uh, Pat Paul Lowell give her some trouble about going to these yard sales and stuff. But So looking back on it now, I don't know if it was tough love or whatever it was, but 
Grandma Idabel had uh, uh, had worked at uh, uh, Baltino's uh, uh, and uh, uh, all right at Foods. Uh, my aunt Patty's been working here now for over 34, 35 years, and uh, it's now called uh, uh, Heinz. They've changed the names so many times. Like uh, uh, I don't know, it's it's just ridiculous how many times they change the name. Excuse me, but looking back on it now, I don't know if it was tough luck. Tough love, or whatever it was. Looking back on it now, it's just one of those things that I can remember receiving that kind of uh, trouble with Grandma Idabel. But I just want to, uh, she'll never know how much she meant to me. And even though I got the tough love, or whatever it was, I love her. I love my Grandma Idabel. I love you, Grandma. Thank you so much for going down memory lane with me. I'll catch you next time.